once again. As usual, I must warn you all that this year's Halloween show is very, very scary, and those of you with young children may want to send them off to bed and... Oh, my. It seems the show is so scary that Congress won't even let us show it. Instead, they've suggested the 1947 classic Glenn Ford movie, 200 Miles to Oregon. There's nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust your picture. We are controlling the transmission. What's that, boy? We're in control? Hey, look! I can see my voice! <laughs> this is my voice on TV! <laughs> look, it even knows when I laugh. Dad, you're ruining the mood. Sorry. For the next half hour, we will control what you see and hear. You are about to experience the terror and foul horror of The Simpsons Halloween Special. Well, it was a long trip, but we're almost there. Homer, did you remember to lock the front door of the house? Don't! Well, it's been two long trips, but we're finally almost there again. When you locked the front door, did you remember to lock the back door? Don't, don't! <gasps> oh, no! We left Grandpa back at the gas station. What about Grandpa? Hi, we're here! Oh, goody, the sea monkeys I ordered have arrived. <laughs> Look at them, cavort and keeper. Sir, that's Homer Simpson, the new caretaker, and his family. All right, but if they don't work out, I'm going to flush them down the toilet. Sir, they're not sea monkeys. I know. This house has quite a long and colorful history. It was built on an ancient Indian burial ground and was the setting of satanic rituals, witch burnings, and five John Denver Christmas specials. Oh, John Denver. Hmm, that's odd. Usually the blood gets off at the second floor. Hmm. Everybody says it's tough to get out of a hedge maze. This is a piece of cake. That's not a hedge maze, you cookie chopping widgie bait. The real hedge maze is over there. Help! It's me, John Denver. I've been stuck in here since 77. I've got a whole lot of new songs. I'm stuck in a hedge mess. Shut up, you bang wearing tree hugger! So, your da is going to be the caretaker this winter? Yeah, huh? Poor little wee one. His father's going to go loose in the bean and make haggis of all of them. What's haggis? <gasps> Boy, you read my thoughts. You've got the shinning. You mean shining. Shh! You want to get sued? Now look, boy, if your dad goes gaga, you just use that shin of yours to call me and I'll come a-running. But don't be reading my mind between four and five. That's Willie's time. Yes, by cutting off cable TV and the beer supply, I can ensure an honest winter's work out of those low lifes. Sir, did you ever stop to think that Maybe it was doing this that caused the previous caretakers to go insane and murder their families. Hmm, perhaps. Tell you what, we come back and everyone's slaughtered, I owe you a Coke. Up, up. Hmm, cable's out. Think I'll have a beer. Hmm, not a drop in the house. What do you know? Homer, I'm impressed. You're taking this quite well. I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Homer! Sorry. Sorry. Don't worry. There's plenty I can do to keep myself occupied. Maybe I'll check out that axe collection. See you later. Mom, is Dad gonna kill us? We're just gonna have to wait and see. So, what'll it be, Homer? Mo, give me a beer! No. Not unless you kill your family. Why should I kill my family? Uh... They'd be much happier as ghosts. You don't look so happy. Oh, I'm happy. I'm very happy. La, 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 see? 
Now waste your family and I'll give you a beer. Huh? <gasps> your daddy's gonna kill you. <sighs> They're right, you know. <sighs> I'd believe them if I were you. They, what are you looking at? We're twins too. We have a right to be here. Ah! Homer? Homie? Hmm. What he's typed will be a window into his madness. Feeling fine. Wow, that's a relief. Hmm. This is less encouraging. What do you think, Marge? All I need is a title. I was thinking along the lines of no TV and no beer make Homer something something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do! Stay away from me, Homer! Give me the bat, Marge! Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Come on, give me the butt, give me the butt. Ha ha ha, dirty cat. Yeah. <laughs> you stay here till you're no longer insane. Hmm, chili will be good tonight. Um, um. Oh. Oh, Matt, it's Mo. Uh, look, some of the ghouls and I are a little concerned the project isn't moving forward. Can't murder now. Eating. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. Yeah. No! Here's Johnny! Don't! David Letterman! I'm out of the hedge maze. Yeah. I'm Mike Wallace, I'm Morley Safer, and I'm Ed Bradley. All this and Andy Rooney tonight on 60 Minutes. <laughs> Hello, police. This is Marge Simpson. My husband is on a murderous rampage. Over. Oh, well, thank God that's over. I was worried there for a second. No answer. Don't worry, Mom. I can use my shinning to call Willie. Uh-oh. The little fat boy and his family are in trouble. I'm coming to rescue a lot of you. All right, Looney. Show me what you got. Hey, is that the best you can do? Oh, my. I hope that rug was scotch guarded. Must kill family. Teacher, mother! Secret lover. Urge to kill. Fading. 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 Rising! Fading. Fading. Gone. <sighs> Come, family. Sit in the snow with Daddy and let us all bask in television's warm, glowing, warming glow. And now, live from Broadway, it's the Tony Awards with your hosts, Tyne Daly and Hal Linden. Our Chase Channel. Ah! Urge to kill, rising, 